Good morning, YouTube. How we doing today? Got a special treat for you today. As you can see, our table is loaded. We got a fantastic meal cooking for you today. We are gonna have stuffed chicken with a andouille cream sauce with smoky sweet potato hash, right? That's a lot of stuff to do. That is a fancy meal. Uh, I, I'm excited to bring it out to y'all and I brought Chef Calvin Cormier out here to help me with that, just to show y'all how that's done. Ooh. Now, Calvin is a chef at Prejean's, an award-winning chef right here, and an award-winning restaurant not far from us over here at Station 9. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty much a staple over here in Lafayette. When you come, a lot of tourists go right there to Prejean's and uh, get some fantastic Cajun food. So we're lucky to have him with us today, right? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I'm so excited to be working alongside Captain Colby. Right. When he asked me about about uh, coming on the show uh, about a month ago, I was just I've been excited ever since. So we're gonna have some good food today, and uh, hopefully, God. it's all right. Just roll it. Oh, so uh, God damn it. What? some good food for you today and uh it might sound a little fancy you know it might sound like it's hard to do but it's very simple and we're going to show you how that's done the deal how that's, that's done the deal that's right listen i want to add a couple things to you right here like i said we have uh our presence grace today with mr cabin <coughs> oh. he is a fantastic <laughs> chef he's a, he's a gold medal winning chef at a, at a lot of fancy uh uh, what you events. call it? Events. Cul culinary culinary events. events. That's right. He's won a lot of gold medals with that. But I also want y'all to know that not only is Calvin the chef. That's right. Put it out there. Calvin is a captain over here at the Laughing Fire Department. Oh, that's, right. that's right. Me and Calvin relieve each other here. He's over here on B Crew. I'm over here on C Crew. We relieve each other. So, like I said, fantastic meal. Fancy kind of meal right here. Easy to make. Happy to have y'all with us. We'll see y'all in the kitchen. Let's get this done. Soon. Let's get it done, baby. Let's get it done. All right, y'all. We're going to get started right here. I'm going to turn most of the cooking duties over to Mr. Calvin today. Mm -hmm. And I'll pretty much be a sous chef. So let's get us our area cleaned off right here, Calvin. Go ahead and take care of your chicken. And I'm going to go ahead and prep all these vegetables for you. Good to go? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it. <laughs> let's go ahead on and get started. First thing we going to, first thing we got to do, we're going to prepare this chicken. Ready for the stuff. Wait, I want to get this chicken open. I'm using chicken breast. You can use white meat or dark meat. Whatever's your preference. We're going to do a little bit of both today. <laughs> I'm going to get this cut. Kind of butterfly. <clears throat> I'm butterfly in the middle. I don't want to go too, too deep. Butterfly, what we're going to do, we're going to Take this mallet right here and we'll meat tenderize it and pound it off. Flatten it, get it, get it ready to put the stuff in it and then season it with Kobe. Captain Kobe seasoning. Soon to be world famous. Speaking of Captain Kobe's Cajun season, let me come on in and plug that up a little bit, right? Yeah. Listen, guys, it's, there. it's in production. It's getting made as we speak. This is a little. Uh, container that I bought this season and this blended it is ready it is approved it's ready to go mm -hmm. uh, this is not going to be the original container we have some things working out on that but as of now this is what Captain Kobe is looking like and look it is fantastic on everything we're going to use it on everything today everything everything but now trust me yeah when, when you tenderizing this chicken you want to make sure that you, you, you tenderize both sides that's, that's going to make it easier to roll and when you put in the stuff Some nice, pretty, beautiful meat right here. Only the best in Kobe, Captain Kobe's kitchen. That's right, baby. Hey, listen, that's important, right? Yeah. If you want a good product, you gotta have good meats. Good quality meat. Good yeah. quality meat. That's right. I agree with that. So, like, when we go and we buy ground meat, anything like that, I, I try to get good, like, ground chuck and good tasting meat. If you get the cheap meat, 
The music gonna taste cheap. This is a man that knows his way around the kitchen. That's right. Hey, I've been trying to tell him, Cal. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Like Calvin said earlier, Chef Calvin, some people like white meat, some people like dark meat. Me, personally, I like dark meat. I just think it's a little more fat, a little more flavorful than the white meat. The white mm -hmm. meat tend to be a little more dry, even though we're gonna have sauce to top that all off, right? Yeah, and, I, and, I, and it also depends on how you wanna cook it, you know what I'm saying? Like you say, the white meat is a little more dry than the dark. So, we got some dark meat for Captain Cody. <laughs> While we chopping up this parsley right here, you see I got my onions and bell peppers chopped up. Well, what we're doing is uh, we prepping. We prepping to get everything ready so when we do start cooking, everything flows real well. Right, Chef? Oh yeah, it's very necessary. Yeah, it's very necessary for things to flow flow real well, especially uh, the, the prep time cuts cuts the cook time, and and, and that's very important in a restaurant in a restaurant because we want to get our get the food out to our customers as quickly as possible. Well, I would about imagine, you know, when, when you know, if you don't have your stuff prepped out and you try, try to cut onions while you're trying to make something oh. else and people are rolling in and out of that restaurant, they want to eat. Definitely. Yeah, they don't have four hours to eat, right? No, nobody has four hours because they want to come, sometimes they want to come for a quick lunch, get in and out, you know, and that prep time will help, uh, help with that. We just want to try to make the customers happy, keep them happy, keep them coming, and keep them satisfied. We want to satisfy you all with this Captain Kobe flavored seasoned food. Listen, you come to Captain Kobe's restaurant over here at Station 9, and I tell you what, it's going to be phenomenal. When you're going to walk in, you're going to sit down, you're going to eat, because the food will already be prepared for you, man. That's how we do it over here at Station 9. Right, Captain? Oh, yeah! <laughs> all right, now that our chicken's pounded out, and our onions and uh, parsley's all prepped out, ready to go, what we're gonna do is on our, and our next step is we wanna start with our stuffing. So we have some chicken sauce for our stuffing and we have some andouille for the cream sauce. And a big part of that sauce is uh, cornbread. So I'll go ahead and make stuffing. the cornbread. That's the stuffing. For the stuffing, correct, right? Yeah. Cornbread for the stuffing, right. Yeah. So I will make the cornbread and uh, Calvin's gonna go ahead and cut this sausage up and get ready for the sauce. We'll prep that out next, right? Yes, sir. All right. What I like to do, I like to, especially with on do, I just take it, because you're working with a long, <laughs> I just cut it down the middle. And then, well, it's easier, if you want to cut it easy, you want to flip it over and not cut it on the skin side. The skin side will make it a little tough to cut on. But if your knife sharp enough, it'll get through it. Makes it a little easier. And we're using Jiffy, listen, we keep it simple. Third cup of milk, an egg, and a box of Jiffy. Makes a quick cornbread, makes a very good cornbread. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this on do it smells good. Woo! Talk about they wanna have a mouth, bountiful mouth full of flavor once it's all put together. And you know why? Because of this, right? Right, man, that season is good, man. People are absolutely going crazy for the season, man. I mm -hmm. gave a few of these blends out. Yeah. Uh, a couple of test samples, what everybody thought. Fantastic reviews. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. I'm just taking, right now I'm just taking the sausage out of the casing. This is what we're going to make our stuffing with. Just peel that back. It's pretty simple. I'm going to butter the bottom of this right quick. Good crispy cornbread. <laughs> Got our cornbread mixed up. Put this in the oven. And get ready. Yeah, now right, right now I got everything pounded out. Now what we want to do is season everything real well. And I got you some Captain Colby's key. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was waiting on. All right, look at that. We got our little lid right there. Mm -hmm. Got that dusted all over, man. Well, that's what happens when normally when you're in the kitchen. 
well, you're in the it, kitchen cooking up something. Look at so how, how can I get one of them fancy uh, chef course things? Oh man, you can't get that. Why not? Are you? I'm a professional. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Listen, don't worry. I got something for me. You go ahead and season. What, what, you what season you that meat, and I got something. Well, for well, 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 oh, man, I'm going to on the season of meat. Man, well, what are you talking about? Uh, you got something for me? We're gonna just dust this a little. You know, with this world famous seasoning we got here. We're gonna make sure we dust. Chefs wear chef coat. Bam! Cooks got aprons, baby. I got my aprons here. And we know the food gonna be phenomenal when we all say it done today, right? Well, with a look, well, with an apron like that, you grandfathered in. That's right, I like it. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey we, we, we like the season good, right? That's how y'all done. Restaurant, maybe not so much that kind of like what we yeah, do but, over here to think, because I know you got to try to kind of say please everybody, but mm -hmm. you can't be over Caesar and think. No, 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 can I season the dark meat? The ones I'm gonna be? Oh, be my guest right. since you allowed me to be a guest. On hey, you. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I like it. And I like a man. I like. I, look, that's why I want to. I was so excited to work alongside Captain I, Cool. I come with seasoning on mine. I come with it. I like oh, it. Oh, you, you, I like it every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not scared. You gotta love a man that don't like to get it. That don't mind getting his hands dirty. Oh no, I, it, it gotta happen. I like it here. Now that's some seasoning right there. That's, that's, that's it. That's what makes it good, baby. Mm -hmm. okay. That's what makes it good. Seasoning to Captain Colbert's perfection. Mm -hmm. okay. I guess that's why he went with a phenomenal apron since he, that's right, baby. he got phenomenal skills. Mm -hmm. Again. I ain't, never, I ain't never seen a man shake his hand like that on top of a piece of chicken before. You gotta have that touch, baby. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Now we're gonna just set that aside. We're gonna set that aside since they got all they all seasoned and, and ready to go. We're gonna just set it aside and just wait. Now what we're gonna do? We got this uh, our chicken sausage that we took out the casing. We're not gonna waste not one ounce of seasoning, so we're gonna just go ahead on and toss this on the cutting board right here that we got this seasoning on. And just fill it in. You want to go ahead on and add me some of that? You want to add a little more to that? Yeah, add me All a little right. more too. Hit me with a little onion powder and garlic powder too. Just a little bit, just to enhance, to intensify the flavor. It's already intense with Captain Cooper, but we just trying to give it a little more. That's good. Thank you. Wow. One more little shot of Kobe. <clears throat> All right, now that we made a mess, put some little pop out of them was doing in the kitchen, right? Now I'm wash. Pop out of Ben Wash. Yes, sir. It's some dishes for me, sir. All right, that's what I like. That's right, baby. Teamwork makes a dream work, right? <laughs> Gotta eat too, bro. Gotta eat. That's right, man. Gotta eat. Especially, uh, Captain Cody Bailey cooking, you know what I'm saying? Can't pass on that. But I am the finest, so I gotta clean up. It's all good. We'll go ahead on and start with the, uh, stuffing for the chicken. <clears throat> start with, uh, with a pat of butter right here. Ain't nothing better than butter. Especially when you try to make something with it. You had in that pot before that, man, because that, that, <laughs> that, even that pot plant just with nothing in it smelled good, man. That's right, baby. Listen, <laughs> we got your pot seasoned up over here at Station 9, man. Ooh. They cook themselves on more. <laughs> All right, now we got to just let this. You got, you what got you need me to do? Well, well, you can go ahead and start with that bacon. I want to prep this bacon for you? Prep for that, that bacon. Uh, for our, uh, our smoky, smoke. Sweet potato, sweet potato hash. hash. All right, I'll get on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, 
gonna go ahead and brown this for you, Cal. Yeah, that's a cool, cool deal. I like to stir the pot. I'm good. I'm good. I'm a good stir, pot stirrer. Oh, he, oh. He, he can stir the pot in more ways than one. He's a character, <laughs> I'll tell you. All right. All right. You see, we're coming right along browning this uh, the sausage up right here. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm okay. going and, and uh, just go ahead and tell us our series of events, Gavin, what, what, what we're going to do, what's, what comes next, how this goes. Yeah, what, what, what he's going to do, he's browning the sausage, and then we're, we're going to add the onions. Once it's brown, we're going to add the onions and the bell pepper, and then we're going to add a little, a little pinch of this right here. All right. It's a pinch, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to get the uh, onion ready and uh, start, off, start the sauce off. You want to start the sauce? We're going to incorporate a little sauce while we're going? All right. Yeah, yeah we'll do that. I like that. Get it, get it going. Okay. Because we got some hungry folks out there. They're ready to eat. Right. <laughs> smell that heat coming out there. Ooh, There's nothing but love going in here. You gotta cook with love, man. <laughs> and you gotta love what you cook. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay, let me get my spoon. Mm -hmm. oh, always wanna add a little butter. Uh, uh, butter intensifies the flavor. It's all intensifying and it's also a little bond. Just a little bit. Get this going. Um. And you want to go ahead on and add a little bit of onion? I'm going to let it I'm gonna let oh, you're gonna it brown. Oh, you going to let it brown? Okay, yes sir. Yes sir. Ain't nothing like having a good quarterback. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hey, it, and ain't nothing like having some help. You know, like most of the time, I'm cooking by myself over here. It's oh, throwing yeah. down. It's, yeah. it's hectic, especially when you're cooking for 15, 20 people. It's all, man, it's oh, all yeah. by yourself. Yeah. I got to give a little love to my crew, though. They do help me out a lot, man. I appreciate it. He shows appreciation. You, wanna, you always want to show appreciation, but you, know, you can't do everything by yourself. Right. Good help is hard to find. I tell y'all what, I wish y'all could be here. This smells phenomenal. <laughs> this, this chicken sausage by itself is awesome. Plus with the smoked sausage on the side, the flavors in the app. Listen, we are in the apparatus room cooking. This thing is massive, mm. but it smells phenomenal. So it smells fantastic. Don't that smell awesome? Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead on, throw a little bit of that. I'm gonna put the onions and bell peppers in here. Mm -hmm. A little bit more. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. it. How about throwing a little some of this some of the, uh, in my pot now? You need a little bit in yours yeah, too? Yeah, throw a little bit in mine. Long do it's coming along beautifully. Thank you, Mr. Panama. <laughs> <laughs> a little touch, but I like a little more. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? Why not? Ain't nothing like having good flavor. You bag it up. You drop it like it's hot Drop it like it's hot You drop it like it's hot Well, now that we got it all brown, we're going to add the cornbread to it. Ooh, that looking good in there. Go ahead on and turn off our heat. We'll come down on this heat a little bit too, Cal. Add the cornbread. Stuffing. Probably gonna use all this cornbread. We're gonna just get it mixed in. Pretty good. Can me help you with that? Yeah. You might turn that flame off for that, if you don't mind. Not for that. You want it off all together? Yeah, we don't need it to be on anymore because we're gonna let this uh, the stuffing cool off. Okay. Once it's cooled off, I'm going to add an egg to it. Just to bind, bring everything together. I need an egg? Yeah, one egg. Okay, stir it, yeah. Beautiful. You want no shells in it? No. Oh, yeah!
Now that uh, Captain Kobe has finished up the stuffing, he, yeah, he's all ready in. to go, man. Ready to roll. We're gonna go ahead on and get the uh, the chicken uh, stuffed. All right. We're gonna just go ahead on and take. Well, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead on and use my hands. I'm gonna okay. get dirty with okay. it. Okay. Go ahead on and use my hands. You know, just throw a little bit in here. Now the uh, stuffing is at room temperature. You okay. Know, yeah. You don't want it too hot, you know. That way you'll be able to work. Yeah, you can touch it. Yeah, you'll be able to work with it. Bow, bow, bow. Once you got a little dollop right now, you should be good. Let me get you some toothpicks in. And we're gonna roll it. Let's get a little bit more in there since we only got four breaths. The more the merrier. We're gonna roll it. Roll it up. We can always add a little bit to the um, to the ends, if needs be, just so it can be full all the way through and through. Let me set this aside before I put the uh, two picks on it. Um, ooh, ooh. That'll feed a that'll feed a man right there. Oh okay. man, that'll feed a fireman too. You know what I'm oh fire yeah, right? indeed. Perfect amount of stuff. The more the merrier. Yeah, throw me a little, throw me a little, little. A little extra? Yeah, a little extra. Since we got extra. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need a couple of little more toothpicks that way I can. You need some? Pull it together. Well, yeah, whenever you, well, after. I'm sorry about that. So much like making cabbage roll. Oh. While Calvin's doing that, we're gonna come over here and get this. Uh... Listen, don't put your your spoon over the fire right there and burn your finger right there, just like I just did. I let that cool off a little bit. Lesson learned, right? You don't do that in the restaurant business. No, all in oh the cooking no, business. Oh no. All right, now that my spoon cooled off right here, we got our stuff cooking right here. Now, what I want to do is I'm just gonna add a little bit of butter, about a quarter stick in here to help with that. Shouldn't take very long for that to cook down, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this smoked paprika and just dust it in here like that. Mm -hmm. All right, it has a good little smoke flavor to it. It's not overbearing, it's just right, okay? And the sauce that makes the magic happen, son. Right here, heavy whipping cream. That makes it great. So we're gonna go, let's see where we at. I think we're gonna go the whole thing. Mine as well. All right. I'm gonna let this cook. And let me tell y'all something, when these blends come together, when all those tastes come together, the paprika, the smoked sausage, the butter, that heavy cream, when that's gonna cook down. This is unbelievable, it's phenomenal, I promise you. All right. all right, if you get a good shot in here, right here, what we have here is a blonde roux. It's not cooked at all, it's just flour and oil together that we just mixed up together. We're gonna use this as a Thickening agent for our sauce right here, for our uh, stuff. For the Andouille cream sauce. So what we want to do, it's not cooked. You don't want to put too much oil. You can't mix it half and half. It's going to be too oily, too wet. So we want this to kind of almost be like a peanut butter, right? Yes, sir. All right, now that we got this kind of starting to ball a little bit, a very light ball, we just kind of want that to simmer. We don't, we don't want it to ball heavy. We don't want it to ball hard, right? So what we're gonna do when we get to this stage is, we're gonna add a little Captain Kobe's. Just right, right there. <laughs> now it's getting interesting in here. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this blonde roux we made. Remember we had this roux we made? Okay, and I'm gonna come with about, about half of that, one big giant heaping teaspoon of that right here. Okay, and look, 
I like a little bit at a time. That's not mm -hmm. one big chunk, right? Yes, you want to always add a little bit at a time because you can't you, you don't you can't take it you out once know. once it in you can't take it out. That's you, right. And you always want to whip it. You when you whip your uh, cream sauce, it, it, it binds everything together. It keeps everything together when when you whip it. But, yeah. Right. And you gotta you gonna, we gonna let that uh. The, uh, I'm stirring that Captain Cove is with it. Mm -hmm. On top of that smoked paprika, it's gonna be unbelievable. All right, this is what we got right here. This is our sauce. You can see how thick this is right here, right? Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is we want to taste our sauce, okay? And you can taste it too, Gal. You can tell me what you think. Well, I was hoping I would get an opportunity. Yeah, all right, yeah. I think it needs some seasoning. A little bit of seasoning? A little bit of seasoning. All right. Not much. It's right there. It's right there. That's another one. All right. And listen, how you like the color? Color is perfect. Color's good? Now if you, you know. Yeah, if you want a little more red, yeah. we just add a little more paprika, right? Paprika yeah. is, is, is very mild spice. It don't have an overbearing. So if you want to try to add a little more color, but I like this color right there. We got our chickens all stuffed. Now we're gonna go ahead on and put it in a 375 degree oven. About 20 to 25 minutes. Oh. All right, just waiting on it. All right, the only thing we have left to make now is our side. And what we're gonna do is, is our uh, smoked sweet potato hash right here, right? And the first thing we wanna start with is browning this bacon. All right, while this bacon is frying up right here, we got our uh, chickens in the oven cooking. Yeah, we, All right, we got our sauce made ready to do. I'll have to kind of heat it up a little bit before we serve. Mm -hmm. So while this is browning, uh, we're gonna get five out of Benoit here to kind of get some order to this mess. Ooh, yeah. Okay, but listen, one thing, one thing chefs and cooks do that they are similar, we don't wash dishes. <laughs> right? Be right on my dish. That's right. Chefs and cooks don't wash dishes, baby. Mm -hmm. The hide help does that for us. So. And listen, on the part of part, when you got a little rank, what happens? Gotta get your young guys, your farmer to do that for you. Yes, sir. Chris Benoit! <laughs> get him! Alright, come get a shot in here. Again, I really like to cook my bacon down good. You see all this grease that it's producing? That's the smoky flavor, right? Now, what we're gonna do is... Dump our sweet potatoes in there, or candy yams. that cook just for a few minutes so that it come together. And by the time this is done, our chicken should be ready. Yeah. We're about to eat, baby. All right, let's taste and see what we got. Definitely need some seasoning. Listen, I want y'all to understand some things. We use Captain Kobe's on everything because Captain Kobe's goes on everything. It goes with candy hams. It goes with a sauce. It goes with the chicken itself. It goes with rice and gravy. It goes with crawfish etouffee. It goes with everything. This blend is truly fantastic. Trust me when I tell you, you can use it on everything. Stay tuned, it's coming. I promise you, you're gonna love it. Beautiful piece of 
two with this, this, this chicken and this stuffing and that sauce together is, is unbelievable. It really is awesome. I'm gonna try this. Heaven on a plate. <clears throat> the damn club of butter. <laughs> Pretty close. Woo! See y'all next week. Till then, keep cooking and I'll see y'all in the kitchen.